by Geraldine Reinhardt, before you start dating anyone else, you have to start dating, loving, and respecting yourself. You can't expect someone to bring you the happiness that you haven't found within you. Many people choose to skip this crucial self-love step, then run into the arms of someone who only serves as a temporary solution. Sooner or later, you'll be back at the drawing board, seeking another source of happiness because that person didn't satisfy all of your emotional expectations, ready to build your self-esteem and be a magnet for relationship success. Here are four ways to walk into your next relationship with so much love that it attracts a reciprocal partner. 4 Things to Do Before Starting Your Next Relationship 1. Let the old relationship go you can't move forward with your future possibilities if you are still thinking about past problems, and you know that you haven't gotten over your past relationship when you find yourself scrolling through social media photos to get your daily dose of adrenaline rush. You're definitely not checking on your ex's well-being. What you are really trying to figure out is if his heart has moved on with someone else and how she compares to you. Here's a news flash for you, it really doesn't matter if the new person is jobless with three kids or a Victoria's Secret model, that has nothing to do with you, so stop sticking your head in situations that don't serve your greater purpose. Here's what you do instead. Think about what the relationship has taught you and thank the person for being a teacher on your journey. Every person comes into your life to give you something that you need in your journey. Sometimes what you receive will help another person overcome their most painful battles. The lesson isn't always about you, too. Start exercising if your New Year's resolution every year is to stay committed to your fitness goals. This is the perfect time to do it. Fitness is like a marriage. You have to be faithful to it in order to make it work. Focus on your loyalty and you will be better prepared to commit in a relationship even when things are less than ideal. Of course your commitment to fitness will lead to a better body, but you also increase your self-esteem due to the endorphin-boosting benefits of exercise. Another great reason why you need to exercise now is you may not even think about initiating a new fitness regimen when you are so head over heels thinking about your new love interest. Let's face it, you are going to be so focused on getting to know this amazing partner, and if you have had trouble starting a fitness routine in the last 5 years, a relationship won't change this, unless you think that a better body will impress the other person. But if you are not doing it for you, your commitment won't last. Rejection hurts. But rejection teaches you valuable lessons that success can't teach you, never let the word no stop your flow, attitude is everything. How you handle life when you are faced with less than ideal situations will greatly impact the success of your next relationship. You don't want to get into a relationship not knowing how to control your emotions, you will be miserable and your negative energy will cause your partner to become less attracted to you. Instead, stand strong with the mentality that rejection is redirecting you towards something greater, who wouldn't love your positive perspective. It will also give you the confidence to keep going no matter how impossible your situation looks. Fall so deep in love with who you are and who you can become that people fall in love with their own potential when they are in your presence. Don't be conceited, be confident. Self-love isn't thinking that you are better than someone else, but understanding that you are uniquely made and can't compare to anyone else. It takes work to learn how to love yourself. Especially after you've been hurt and made to believe that you are a lovable person, deny those lies because they aren't a reflection of your gifts, strengths, and personality. Start looking at yourself in the mirror as you say positive affirmations like, I love the person that I am becoming. Then, keep a journal and write three things that you are grateful for and one goal that you have for the day. Keep it simple. These daily activities will help you dig deep and discover beautiful things about yourself that you never paid attention to before. Let's block ads. Why?